What's going on YouTube? It's your boy JRSD here. Uh, I'm your coach of the Seattle Pidgeots. We are here for week number two of the IBL season number eight. Uh, yeah, so we took a little bit of Christmas break here. I uh, haven't uploaded in a while. I've actually just already finished week three, uh, but didn't have time to record over the holidays. Hope you all had a good holiday uh, yourself. Hopefully not out there spreading. You know what? But whatever. Uh, yeah, so week two, we were 1-0. Uh, we were going up against uh, Hihoshi and his Dallas Tornadus. Um, pretty terrifying team on paper. Uh, Melmetal, Gudra, Marina, Mega Diancy, Magmortar, uh, Beware, Sloking, Gelar, Baylord, Serena, Palisand, Unpheasant, and Morpico. Obviously, Melmetal, huge problem. Mega Diancy, huge problem. Primarina, huge problem uh, for my team. Uh, Gudra, also big problem. Lots of bulky offense on this team. Things like Slowbro as well. Or Slow King, not Slowbro, whatever. Uh, yeah, so, going in, obviously Melmetal, huge threat, so we got to bring, have to bring, Star Scream, uh, the Skarmory, Rocky Helmet was sturdy, Body Quest, Roost, Spikes, and Protect. Uh, Protect is there to scout for the Thunder Punch, just in case he is not banded. Uh, if I switch in on a Double Iron Bash, uh, then go for protect see if he's obviously if he's not leftovers uh see if he's a self best or something like that um and if he goes for thunder punch then we can switch into our ground type or go from there or whatever we do live thunder punch uh from non-banded uh like we live thunder punch anyway but uh, I, th I don't think it 2-8 KOs us from non-banded i could be wrong though uh yeah so next up Bringing Sniffles, bringing the Hail for the first time. Uh, no Nine Tails this week, uh, even though Hail got three kills last week. But um, bring your own Hail uh, because he's got a lot of slow Pokemon, and his defensive walls. Uh, if you just look at his defensive Pokemon, what they could be: Unpheasant, Palisand, Serena, Slowking, Waylord, maybe I guess. Uh, Primarina is slower. Uh, as well. Gudra, slower. Uh, offensive Mon, but slower. It can be bulky, though. And you just look at Ice of Crash and Bolt Beak versus those Mons, and yeah, Sniffles had a great matchup. So, Leftovers substitute with Hail if we need it, um, but mostly just clicking two moves on, uh, behind the sub uh, will work, basically. Uh, so, yeah. Another Pokemon that is hugely good in this game is Pangoro. Uh, yeah, dark and fighting coverage absolutely shreds his team. Uh, <clears throat> Permarine is the only one that kind of takes hits uh, along with Gudra, <clears throat> but like Palisand doesn't take hits, Serena doesn't take hits at all, um, Slowking dies, uh, Melmetal dies, just, like all that stuff. So Life Orb, Iron Fist, Darkest Lariat, uh, Knock Off, Drain Punch, and Bullet Punch. This is enough speed to outpace the Melmetal uh, at its fastest, and I think outpace like regular Slowking or Palisand or something. Not sure. Uh, it was a while ago. But Crimson Fist, yeah. And then we're also bringing El Dorado, the Bulu, uh, Max Attack, Adamant, Horn Leech, uh, Close Combat, and Dual Chop is there for Gudra because Gudra's pretty good at stopping Bulu. Uh, and dual chop actually two of chaos. So uh, if I click close combat, uh, he switches into Gudra, takes about 30% uh, if he's defensive, and then dual chop will take him out, which is cool. And the Kiba Berry to uh, live any poison type attack uh, that something wants to go for, like a surprise. Um, well, not a surprise, but like poison jab for a Beware, sludge wave from a Gudra, um, sludge wave from Sloking, uh, I think if he's defensive, um, all that stuff. Not that I'm going to be staying in on those things, but just in case. 
And then, uh, Leftovers, uh, Toxic Coil Substitute Zygarde. Uh, got him. Uh, just pretty good set versus his team. And then we have Yoinks, the Assault Vest uh, Tentacruel. This is my Mega Diancy check because it's literally the only thing on my team that can take hits from Mega Diancy. And I'm assuming that he's not going to be four attacks. Mega Diancy probably has either Calm Mind or Stealth Rock or Magnet Rise or uh, Protect to Scout from Bullet Punch or something like that uh, as his third or his fourth move. So he won't probably have Mystical Fire for the Skarmory and Earthquake or Earth Power for the Tentacruel. So betting on that, the best thing then then he could have would be Psychic uh, or Psy uh, or Earth Power. But I'm assuming he'll have Moonblast, uh, Rock type move, like Fairy type move, Rock type move, and Mystical Fire over Earth Power. So if that is the case, we take those hits other than Diamond Storm with Max Attack does a lot, but then we can go Skarmory. Uh, yeah, so that is the team. And let's just switch sides here. So you can see he brought the Melmetal, the Slowking, the Morpico, the Primarina, the Serena, and the Mega Dancy. No Gudra, which was kind of surprising, but I guess uh, he needed the hazard removal uh, from Serena um, and maybe Morpico. Uh, so I just lead, he leads with more Pico, I just lead with Pangoro. Uh, it basically just kills anything that he brought except for Marina. So, uh, yeah. So we live any one hit from this more Pico. So I just went for a, a Drain Punch right off the bat. Big damage here against the Serena. I go straight into Skarmory as he goes for Play Rough, which um, I figured he might have. Uh, he goes for Rapid Spin figuring that I would be faster than him, but uh, he is faster than me, so he takes uh, damage there from the Rocky Helmet, and we get the Skarmory kill. It's fourth of the season, or third of the season, uh, with the uh, Body Press there. Oh yeah, Primarina also uh, completely destroys my team. Special Fairies, very good versus my team. If they have another stab, or uh, yeah, like water isn't resisted by Skarmory, so uh, yeah, pretty tough for me to deal with so far. Uh, so that is why Tank Tentacruel is here. He goes with the Calm Mind. I'm just going to hit him with Sludge Wave. He does have the Psychic, which is unfortunate. Uh, that means that we can only get two Sludge Waves off. He goes for another Calm Mind. He could have killed me there um, and been more healthy, but uh, he decides to go for the other Sludge Wave there. Uh, or the other Calm Mind there. He has Leftovers uh, and... My Pangoro is bread or bread. I need to outspeed uh, modest, uh, modest arena, I believe. So I was just gonna risk it, and I didn't have to risk it anyway because he has bull punch. Uh, yeah. So as long as he was not max defense, that killed. Uh, he goes in slow king. Um, don't really know why, but um, yeah, Dark Slariat is going to absolutely obliterate that thing. Adamant life orb. Uh, Pangoro claims two kills there. He goes more Pico. I go into the Bulu here. As he goes for the Aura, Aura, Aura Wheel. Uh, switches to that Dark type. Goes for the Ice Fang. Uh, I just go for close combat there as he gets to go to the Focus Sash. Um, and then I go into Skarmory here to take the obvious Ice Fang um, and take him out with the Rocky Helmet. I do get frozen though, which is kind of funny, but uh, he goes Diancy, and I figured he probably goes for either Diamond Storm or uh, Mystical Fire on the Skarmory. Uh, so I can go hard into Pangoro, live either one of those hits, and uh, then I can bullet punch him, obviously. So he does go for Diamond Storm. He does not get the boost, which is fantastic. I can go for the bullet punch. Obviously, that he was going to go in Melmetal there, um, but it didn't really matter. Here, again, I make another read, uh, figuring that he knows that Skarmory is my only answer to Melmetal. He knows it's Rocky Helmet for that as well. Um, so, yeah, uh, I stay in here, uh, assuming that he's going to Thunder Punch, 
knowing that my Drain Punch will get me back to an HP where I can live the Thunder Punch, uh, and then a second Drain Punch will be able to take it out. Pangoro gets his third kill of the game, and will be able to take out Diancie on the pre or in the next turn with a Bullet Punch. Um, and like I said, Pangoro, very good in this game. Four kills for the Panda today. Actually, it was like two weeks ago, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so big game, big win, 5-0. Uh, for us, that moves us to 2-0, uh, plus 8, I believe, and yeah, uh, GG's to my man Hihoshi. Uh, next week, which is week 3, which already happened, uh, we played Nico. Uh, that should be coming out probably on the weekend, I'm going to say. Uh, today is Monday. I'm going to upload this on Tuesday, uh, and then... Yeah, probably the weekend is when week three comes out. And then after that, we are facing my man, Duff. Yeah, and also exciting news. If you stay this far into the video, I joined an Ubers draft uh, run by the same server that QDL was run out of. Uh, QDL is now on, on hiatus, I guess, for now. Um, and in between that and the next season, we're going to do an Ubers League, uh, well, not all Ubers, but a certain Ubers League, um, yeah, and so that will be coming to the channel at some point, probably mid-January, uh, so that's pretty exciting, um, hyped to get into it, uh, I have, or just started the draft, and I have the 24th overall pick, uh, out of 24 coaches, so it should be fun, yeah, crazy stuff, like, uh, Yveltal and Ho-Oh and some Arxis forms, uh, uh, Necrozma, Duskmane, and, or Duskwing, Dawnwing, whatever, the Lunala one, uh, are allowed and stuff like that. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, uh, click like, click subscribe if you are new, and I will see y'all next week. Peace!